Hey guys, it's Nicole and I'm back. This week I'm showing you my three-year-old's activity trays for this week with the theme of E is for Elmo. Stay tuned. Okay, so I want to do something that he's interested in and he loves Elmo still. He's three, he turned three, three months ago, and he loves Elmo. So we're gonna go with E is for Elmo. I wanted to do E was for elephant, but eh, he's interested in Elmo. So we're gonna go with what he's interested in, interest-led activities. So first off, as always, I have my, um, this is my setup, which I just switched over to a couple weeks ago. and. At the top, I have the letter E that I just made so that he can see that it's E, uppercase, and a lowercase E. I have a couple of Elmo books. We're going to go to the library um, later on today and get even more Elmo books. But um, these are two that we actually have on hand at home. And that's another thing I suggested. If you kind of look around your house and see what you have. If you have books that um, start with certain letters or have patterns that have a certain letter or consonant sound go ahead and use that go ahead and go with that um, so I'm gonna jump right in so I up, I updated his daily learning notebook for this week for the letter E I use confessions of a homeschooler as printables um, as well as other resources but this is where the cover page came from confessions of a homeschooler I have a video that I talk more in detail about the preschool daily learning notebook um, from last year and I'll link that in the description box so he'll be doing E and with his dry, if this is a dry erase surface, so I use a dry erase marker for him. And then this activity page I got out of a Crayola alphabet book. E is for eggs, and say the name of each picture, circle the things that begin with the same sound as eggs. So he'll do that, and he'll also write the letter E, uppercase and lowercase. And then here is an alphabet match, which is good because this goes over all the letters that we have done so far. We've done A, B, C, D, and now we're on E. Um, he can identify the majority of his letters. He gets confused, <clears throat> excuse me, with uppercase and lowercase, especially when they look different, like A looks different and uppercase and lowercase B looks different in D. So we're going over that, um, and so we're learning beginning letter sounds. Um, here we have E, it's an E Tangram, again another Confessions of a Homeschool's printable and I use these little pattern um, um, three dimensional, or not three dimensional, but you get it, the um, pattern box that goes with that for E uppercase and lowercase. We're doing O is for oval as well, I mean oval, not O is for oval, wow. We're doing oval as the shape of the week because we're doing Elmo and Elmo's nose is an oval and <laughs> we I'm um, gonna do writing number five and counting and quantifying the number five as well and then handwriting practice with circles and curved lines and then his name so this is what he'll be going through for the week so as for reading material, starting off this week, we're going to be doing Elmo's World's Book of Opposites, which is really good to teach the concept of opposites. And he loves this book. And then Elmo's First Book of Colors. He knows his colors, but again, I'm pulling from the concept of Elmo. And we can talk about a variety of things in this book, like what is Elmo doing? And, you know, what things in this room are red? So he can identify and tell me the objects that are red, what are not red numbers that he sees on the page, um, describe what the characters are doing, and it's really important that when you're reading, especially to a toddler, that it's not just reading, but actually stopping and saying, okay, wow, well, how many fish do you see in this pond? And what else do you see in this pond? Do you see a boat? How many frogs do you see? What's Big Bird doing? So really, it's just about getting them engaged in reading and also trying to tie in the concept of Elmo as well. Next up I have a um, sensory bin. Uh, I also have a towel that goes along with it that I'm going to put on the table for him. If he makes a mess it's okay. These are red lentils. They're actually not really red by color but they're red lentils because they're red lentils. They're really orange but um, I'm using a dry 
um, product so I can vacuum up if he makes a mess. So pretty much he's going to go digging for things that begin with the letters A, B, C, D, or E. I have five objects in there. I have the alphabet cards. These go with, um, if you recognize them from the um, talking letters factory from leapfrog so he loves that dvd so he's going to i'm going to have him line these up on the table and then as he digs for the objects he has to match up the appropriate object to the appropriate beginning letter sound so that should be fun so i'm going to have him build elmo this is something really simple that i just drew myself i um had I just taped a piece of cardstock down on the tray so that he can glue Elmo together onto this piece of paper and you know it's more like a, a puzzle slash logic activity with Elmo so he has all the pieces and I'm going to have him figure out that hmm okay well Elmo looks like this he has his head so I'm going to glue his head down and then he has his mouth that's always open and smiling and he has a nose big orange oval nose he has his eyes that stick up at the top of his head and then his pupils go on the inside and then he'll glue it all together and I thought that was just really cute to tie in that Elmo theme he is also for eggs so I just pulled this out this is a printable from that I've used with my um, four-year-old so I'm using it with my three-year-old now. That's pretty much we're just going to put the appropriate amount of eggs in the nest. And the eggs will be these glass gems and so on and so forth. So this is one through ten. So we'll be doing our eggs and putting them in our nests. This tray is beginning sounds. So we're working on beginning sounds. Um, and he will be doing these. So obviously it would be P is for pumpkin. I'll be like puh pumpkin and what I like to do is actually lay these out um, on the tray so we can see them better but they're also color-coded which helps me also because sometimes the uppercase and lowercase letters look the same depending on if this could be a D but because it's purple I know that this is the P and we will go over that so pu pu pumpkin t -t turtle and so on and so forth and I got these from confessions of a home this activity is a Play-Doh number um, mat. Pretty much he will roll the Play-Doh out and make little balls so he can put little apples on his tree. We're going to be going apple picking soon. <laughs> we were supposed to go tomorrow, but plans changed. So I'm going to be doing it possibly next week. So pretty much he'll roll out his balls. I've already rolled out five. And he'll put them right here in the tens frame. And we'll count one, two, three, four, five. And then he can go ahead and put his apples on the tree. And then he can roll out some dough and make the number five. And I'll switch out the um, the mat every day because I it's one through ten. So I'll put another one um, out the next day. So we'll just go through all of them as we um, go through it for a week. All right, this next activity is a logic activity. Um, sequence rummy I've used this before and I've, you've probably seen it in one of my other videos but I got this from Lakeshore Learning last school year $2.99 it cost and pretty much what it is is that it's there's three cards per sequence and what you'll have the kid do is just put them in the proper order so what I will do is just have him put the first thing here the second thing here and the last thing here like um, one of them this one for example showing how to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich so what's the first step get the bread second step put the stuff on third step eat it so that's what he this is for rhyming and if you've looked at my um, recent work box system video that I have for my four and six year old you probably saw this in my four year old's drawer I did this with him and it was way too easy for him so I'm just going to do it with his um, three year old brother because he it's so funny sometimes kids pick up on concepts just by reading and just by living life that sometimes you don't actually have to go over rhyming sounds with a four year old or if you have an older three year old they might have already grasp the idea but I'm gonna go ahead and see um, and do this with my um, my three-year-old and see if he can get it so I'll just say pale pale what rhymes with pale is it pot is it bell or if it is it snail and he will point out which one it is and I'll have him put a little gem over the one that 
matches the rhyming sound. As always, we have our handy dandy um, section tray that this week we'll be doing uppercase and lowercase letter matching with this. Um, last week we did uppercase and lowercase letter matching with the tray activity. This time we're going to shift it over to this section tray. And really simple, all I did was take these and write letters on them. These are like bunting banner flags out of paper. I just cut them down. I wrote the uppercase and then on here in um, chalk marker on these smaller stones I wrote the lowercase and he will be matching the uppercase to the lowercase and I think I'm going to throw a spoon in here so we can use the spoon to shovel so that'll be also a fine motor skill slash, slash life skill um, way of implementing something to help him with the motor skills aspect of that okay guys so I hope you enjoyed our um, work tray activities for the letter E for this week and if you have any questions or if you'd like to know sources of certain um, printables or activities that I've shown please leave a comment below and I will reply with where I got the activity from so have a great week bye